Welcome back to the channel. Today we are exploring three different layers of Step Sequencer. Three different approaches through three main different instruments. We are going to concentrate on the rhythm, on the melodic aspect of that device and also harmonic. In the end of the day, we are going to learn something new. Let's get started. I select the beat first, go to Step Sequencer, Path Selection, these paths are active, I'm gonna touch one of them, and then I'm gonna place that sound in any place I want through the two bar uh, section. Second bar, boom. Play it from start. So pretty straightforward. Now I'm touching another pad. The previous pad disappeared, but now this pad is active. So Next one. Okay, so I'm touching this. Let's just do a bar one. Dum to bump. In the second bar, I'm touching another one. Let's go back to our. Let's try. Okay, so this is what we achieved through those uh, path selection.
Okay, beautiful. So we just use the step sequencer to come up with some kind of bead. We generate our base through plugins. The plugin we choose is the TR6 from Ample Sound. <laughs> So we're going to stay with this range for now. I could definitely... ...use the keyboard to express the same. I'm just trying to see what's, what else is possible. Now, I go to Step Sequencer, and we're going to sequence the very first uh, sound of the bass. The note we choose is G. Path select, bass. Note I want to place, and then I'm placing it. Pop up. Okay, so a little snap. Okay, so this is the base, I mean, the root of the G minus 7 played. Now, path selection, I'm going to change it for something else. Um, hmm? What if we snap that uh, flat three? Bom pap, bom pap, bottom. Let's do F, uh, D. The path selection is on. I'm choosing a new path and then I'm placing it somewhere. Bar two, go back to the bar one. Like we have no idea of the impact yet. <laughs> So this first um, uh, bar doesn't make sense yet.
As a bass player, I could definitely come up with uh, a different solutions, right, on my instrument. But this step sequencer allows me to um, basically search for a new pathways, new ways of expressing that instrument. Now, if we go to here, we are going to unleash the beat, the drum set and the bass. <laughs> Okay, excellent. So look what happened. We go to our beat. Beautiful. Beautiful. So as you see, the bass grooves, the drum set grooves, and they uh, communicate with each other very well. Now moving to the next layer, the guitar. We are going to use the guitar through the same sequencer, but then I'm gonna use instead of a step sequencer, I'm gonna use list edit. In order to enter that window, I have to press shift and step sequencer. We are dealing with G minus seven. So since the parallel to G minus so is B flat major seven, let's just stick with that and come up with some solutions. So Something like that. Now I'm gonna hit record, do not play, do not hit the play button. And I'm gonna tap one note at a time. Okay, 
stop and play from the beginning. And of course I can very easily extend uh, the last. Okay. In order to continue typing your uh, guitar, you lock your position, record button, do not hit play, and then continue. And we will extend that note just a little bit longer. Here we go. Play from the start. Just remember, right now it seems like there's a lot of going on. We can go to our steep sequen sequencer uh, related to our beat. Okay. Uh Yeah, so less less volume. So you see it's from this point. This note creates like a beautiful carpet of the sound. This one is darker, this one is brighter, that's why we use less volume. This one disappears. And this one kind of stands out when we play. Okay, so now we like it very much. Now let's go back to our bass. Um, step sequencer. And now let's just... Um, Create bunch of snaps. Okay. Excellent. So now electric piano. Let's see if this step sequencer is needed. Since we are using uh, sounds of the synthesizer in our beat, now if I start playing with electric piano, they may collide with each other. See, it creates like a lot of mud. So now we are going to skip this idea and maybe use strings. That's why it's important that we build a template ahead of time so we can basically redirect our focus to something else.
Now, since we used the guitar harmonically, here's the guitar, right? Wouldn't be nice to kind of uh, use uh, the strings in a different way. Different way, which means more like rhythmically than melodically. Okay, interesting. So I know it's lots of stuff going on. Uh, let's just mute um, the guitar and maybe the drum set as well. Now we are trying to look into this m music piece from the harmonic perspective. So any form of um, subject not related to the to this has to go. So we are muting the the beat and of course the guitar pattern for now just to have a clarity get the clarity of uh, uh, strings and where they are going <laughs> It's a little bit more power, more juice to these notes. Mm -hmm. 